So now I'm gonna show you how you can install this absolutely incredible mod that literally to, to removes the build height of 256 blocks up in the sky and generates insane amplified sure worlds I can also that build? literally reach way, way, way beyond that height. Up to 10,000 of blocks up in the air. So let's just get started with the installation. I've left all the necessary download links in the description. So first of all, you click on the link for Forge. The developer says on the mod page, second link here, that the 1.14 update will be released when it's done. We don't know when. So as of now, the 20th of November, we have to use the 1.12.2 version. If you have Windows, obviously select 1.12.2 here. If you have Windows, go to Windows Installer. You can also show all the versions and just click on one of them. I would recommend the recommended and I'm a Windows user, so I click on Windows Installer. Once you click on that, uh, Add Focus will pop up. Just wait until you can skip on the top right. Once you've downloaded it, simply double click on the file you got and then make sure uh, Install Client is selected and then hit OK. Once it says successfully installed, you're good to go. Once you've installed Forge, simply double click on the Minecraft application and then go to installations, go to new, name it, I'll call it Forge 1.12.2, then simply select your version. You should see at the very, very bottom your Forge 1.12.2 version. Simply select that version and hit create on the bottom right corner. And then simply select the installation you've just just made and hit play. So once it loaded up, you should see this, four mods loaded, four mods active, and that's everything that comes with Forge. When you're here, you can simply quit game. Now simply hit the, hit the Windows key and R on Windows, and then go to percent app data percent. Let's just search for this app data or the, the location where Minecraft, Minecraft is installed. Then hit OK, go to dot Minecraft, and then once you started up Forge, you should see this mods folder. Then you double click on mods, just leave this file open. Once you've opened up the mods folder, you can simply go back into your browser, click and click onto the second link in the description and it should take you to this page. So once you're here, you simply click onto files right there and then download over here. And then it should say your download will begin and you see this popping up, say keep, it's a super safe file, then go back to the main page and then click on this cubic world generation because you need this in order for everything to work. Same thing, go to files and click on download. Same procedure, wait until the countdown has reached zero and keep. Then go to the small arrow and say show in file. And then we have these two files downloaded right there. And we'll simply drag and drop this into the mods folder. For the third mod you'll need, that's the malicious core mod. That's simply for the graphical interface you'll see later on. Simply click on the link I've provided in the description, go to files, and then I wouldn't recommend using the latest version. I went with a 6.3.2 version, so simply click on download right there. So because for some reason the newest version didn't work out. The 6.3.2 version and you're perfectly good. Say open and file, drag and drop it over into your mods folder. There we go. Open up Minecraft again. And simply make sure Forge version is selected and hit play. Quickly go to mods in order to make sure that everything loaded properly. If you have these three mods in here, you did everything correctly. Then hit done again, go to single player and now the coolest thing comes in. So now it's gonna get epic. So I'll call it no height limit with I don't know how many exclamation marks. Then we go to more world option, select on world type custom cubic. 
and then hit customize. You're only able to see this when you properly installed the Melissa's Core mod. Because on the newest version of Melissa's Core, the game crashed at this point. And so, yeah, you can do a bunch of stuff here, but the most exciting page, I mean, here you can like say that, for example, diamonds should spawn literally up to your maximum world height. And then we go to the third page. Now it gets interesting because here on the factor, you can raise your world. You can zoom out using your scroll wheel and then you can go way beyond. And that's how, to, how your world is going to look. You see on the left side, the Y axis, that it goes up to nearly 1500 blocks. That's about six times the original maximum height limit. You can play around, mess around with all these settings. I'll simply hit done and create new world. Just wait until it's done. So we're at height 265. There could sometimes be this bug that it at first says that you weren't able to build at this height. That bug is simply fixed by leaving the world and rejoining it. In order to get shader packs and resource packs into your game, simply go down into the description below this video, click onto this link. It should take you to this page where you can simply head over to download, click on that. And since we're using the 1.12.2 version, I would recommend using this download button right here. Once you click on that, it should take you to this page. Simply click on download and say keep. Then show in file and then you can simply drag and drop it over into your mods folder. At this point, you should remove Melissa's core because it doesn't properly function with Optifine. It tends to crash the entire game. Because Melissa's core, you only need it for creating the world. So at the end, you should have Optifine and these two mods and you're good to go. Once the game has loaded up again, go to options, video settings, and as you see, there are much more options as well as shaders and stuff. So when you see that, Optifine is successfully installed and you can re-enter your world. If you want to play with a shader, for example, then go to options, video settings, shaders, for example, if you have a better computer. I love to play with this Deuce Reno shader. I've also left the download link in the description for that shader because I also used it in the thumbnail. When you click on the bottom left corner there, you can open shaders folder right there and then simply drag and drop the file you download into that folder. And that's also how you install shaders. But we already spawned at 320 blocks high up. That's it for this video and have fun on this insane worlds you can build insane dropper maps you can build literally so much stuff so to prove you're able to build there's no limitation hope you guys enjoy the tutorial hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions comment down below and i'll see you guys next time bye